Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Proactivity Open P1AM Industrial Arduino First Program. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen here, you'll see that we've opened our Arduino uh, integrated Development Environment or IDE uh, program and what we want to do is we've last time we installed this software as well as Proactivity Blocks and we installed the uh, library, the board library into our software here. So next what we want to do is look at the boards manager and we install it. So if we go to uh, under the tools and we go to boards and boards manager what you'll see is then we can uh, call up the p1am and p1am and you can see here that we've got this already installed but if it were where it was not installed you would actually uh, hit the install button and then you would get this screen so we can close that down so our board is installed and then what we, what we want to do is we want to get uh, tools again and then go to our board type and at the bottom of the list you will see the P1AM-100 and we hit it. Now what you'll notice on the bottom of the screen we have a P1AM-100 and Oncom Fork 4. Now, the other thing we have to do is go to our preferences and under the preferences what you'll see is that additional board manager UL, URLs and that's actually located under the fax engineering. So if we go um, to this location here we can copy that and paste it into our additional boards manager URLs. If you have multiple ones here you can separate them by commas and we'll just hit OK. So now we're um, just about set and if we're actually running Windows 7 or Windows 8 the drivers that you installed or that we installed when we uh, download the software were not included so you have to do this separately so here you would download your driver and then install that driver uh, for your uh, operating system so then what we do is then we're all set to go ahead and program our first program onto our Arduino. Now the next thing we want to do is if we go to file preferences there's two things that I like to turn on and that is display line numbers and what that will do is allow you to see the actual uh, numbers of each line so you can reference quickly and I like to do that so that we can I can actually uh, say this line to this line represents this uh, amount and adds documentation and let's looks like the it helps me explain better what the program is actually doing and then the other thing I like to turn on is the uh, show ver verbose uh, during uh, output during the computation and our upload what this will do is show you all the communication back and forth from the board to the uh, PC when we are actually uh, downloading something to it so that's, uh, we'll turn those both on and then we'll hit OK. okay. So that is, we're all set now to program our Proactivity Open and put our first program in. Now, when you downloaded, or when we actually installed that board, what it installed was a, a lot of sample programs. So if we go File, Samples, and then you'll go down to the Proactiv P1AM um, option and what we can see is um, a lot of the basic so we'll just call up a basic analog output and what happened was they actually included a lot of samples that show you um, how to do certain things within the Proactivity Open controller so that's the analog output and it actually gives you a quick sample of how to read and write to that um, uh, controller. So next thing we'll do is we will call up our 
Productivity Blocks. And Productivity Blocks is located under Tools, Productivity Blocks that we installed last time. And once again, they've actually included a few of the sample programs here as well. So we'll open up one of the samples, so you open, and then it's actually located under the Arduino and Productivity Blocks, Examples, and then we'll use the Blink um, program. So we'll hit Open, and that is my Blink. So basically, what this is saying is that we're going to loop through and pin, which is on our CPU, LED light pin, will be on for 250 milliseconds and off for 500 milliseconds. And that's what our program will do. Once we have that, we will verify that program. And it'll ask me to save it, but I won't save it. And you can see here's my um, action I'm doing for when I'm saving it and compiling that sketch that I have. And sketch is another word that's used for program itself. So just give it a, a second here and that'll quickly uh, be done. And everything compiling is done, now done. And we're all set now. So you have a check mark here meaning that it has been verified. And then what we can do is we can then either go back here and, and hit the upload. Or on here you can see we can hit the upload here on this quick button. Either way will work as long as we are connected to our P1AM-100 on column 7. 14. So before we do that, what we'll do is we will look at our hardware and here is our hardware. So here's my controller here and the first thing we have to do is connect our USB drive or USB cable into the unit. There we go. And now we're all set to download our first program or upload our first program. So we'll hit upload. Again, it's going to give me an option. It's going to wipe out any existing program. And that's one thing what we can do with the Arduino um, controller is that when we download a program, there's no way of actually viewing or uploading that program back again. So it's only a one way direction. Right? So we will say yes. And what this is going to do is actually start, um, it'll ask me for saving. We won't save anything and we'll just start uh, putting this into our controller. There we go. There we go. Done uploading. So now it automatically resets our Arduino. And you can see now that we have our blinking light on our controller after that upload was complete. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us, or you want to get our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data locking, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click this, the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.